A big surprise today for a disabled Long Island mother whose house was in dire need of repair. CBS 2's Christina Fan shows us the transformation. Cries of pure joy inside this Hempstead home as Claire Helfenbein saw her renovated house for the very first time. This was your old dresser. Sobbing as she received a room by room tour from the volunteers who made it happen. I just felt so loved. I felt like a, a big cozy blanket was just hugging me when I saw all these wonderful people that here clapping and telling me welcome home. When the disabled widow whose son is autistic reached out to nonprofit rescuing families in 2019, she was desperate. For 22 years, her family lived in this non-wheelchair accessible house that was falling apart at the seams. This entire room back here had to be ripped, almost ripped down and rebuilt because it was just a wreck. Uh, that was a big challenge. Founders Gina and Vincent Santoro says health and binds story spoke to them as they both came from families with major disabilities. They outfitted her home with pull-out cabinets, a walk-in shower, and a deck that finally gave her access to the front of the house. It was always close to our hearts to help people that were just like our family struggling. The project suffered several setbacks. In June, thieves broke into the home and stole most of the power tools. Still, volunteers found a way to cover the cost of this $120,000 renovation. They're not just an organization. They are a family that's filled with love. A family she hopes to join on their next project so she can help others feel that same joy. In Hempstead, Long Island, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Oh man, and it means everything to her too. Yes. This was a third home, by the way, the charity organization has helped to repair. That's all for the News at 5. Thanks for watching. I'm Alice Gaynor. I'm Maurice Dubois. The News at 6 starts right now.